So tell me this. How did your team do in our power poll? Remember, the top 13, regardless of class, got a, lot, a couple of teams tied, like in the 8th spot and the 11th spot, Berlin, rounding out our top 13. Welcome back. Pilot reporter Bob Martin and photographer Kerry Olson are back at it for another week, flying through the air to get football highlights from the sky. The pair on board Sky News 13 and hitting up the Four Corners area. Skylights from Aztec. Tigers hosting defending 4A champions Goddard. Sky News arriving when Aztec is trailing Goddard 7 to nothing. Goddard in possession and marching up the field again, results in that short plunge you just saw. 14 to nothing, Goddard. Aztec coming back with the roar. Ball goes to Raynell Lewis Adams and he gets large gains. He's eating up the field. Then Aztec quarterback Marcus Crawford launches a long one. The fine receiver Justin Francisco making the local crowd really happy. Sets up the stage for Lewis Neal. Lewis Neal doing what Lewis Neal does. Blasting to the end zone. Following the hole and getting in. Cuts it to a one touchdown lead. Goddard not to be held back. Quarterback Cameron Neff doing work. Taking it around the right side. He's going for a long run. Pull out the popcorn and soda. They finally get him. Goddard gets into Aztec territory, win the game, 41 to seven. Piedra Vista hosting Grants. Quarterback Cassius Corley had to scramble on a broken play for a nice scramble tonight, but it was all because the Panthers made it onto the field. And I'll tell you what, Bo Clafton had himself a nice 40-yard touchdown run after he got on the field. Bo, he knows football. You remember that, don't you? Cheerleaders happy. They said, we're winning. Then Piedra Vista coming back onto the field after halftime where Corley trying to get it going for Grant's quarterback keeper for the first down. Drive with stall. And the Panthers will go back to work. And who else? Bo Clafton on the end of this long pass. Nice ball. Yep. Setting it up for the individual effort from Mr. Isaiah Valdez. Go ahead, get yourself some. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Piedra Vista taking care of Grants, 47 to 21. Time to break from tonight's highlights for just a minute and talk about yesterday. Our Lawrence Gilligan here with the Thursday Rewind. Lawrence, what do you got for us, man? Hey, thanks, man. We've got two games from last night on tap. First up, the Cibola Cougars battling the San Diego Matadors. Cibola looking for win number one of the season after a heartbreak loss to Valley. Meanwhile, the Matadors try to improve to 2-0. Well, it didn't turn out to be a good night for Sandia. They were in trouble right from the go. Trailing 7-0, Matadors quarterback Tim Barreras is flushed and he is picked off by Nick Molina. Cibola is in business deep inside the red zone. Cougs continue to keep defenses off balance this season. Quarterback Derek Martinez with a fake handoff and it's to wide receiver Sam Garcia. Garcia with the juke and gets in for the score. Just like that, it's 14-0 Cibola. Second quarter action now, it's the Cougars tacking on another touchdown. This time, it's Martinez to Sam Garcia for the score. It's 21-0 Cibola until Sandia finally wakes up late in the second quarter. Under two minutes to play, it's Barreras to Cameron Bean for the 23-yard touchdown score. Bean played quarterback, wide receiver, defensive end, you name it. He did it for Sandia. Wasn't enough though. Cougars hang on for a 27-21. Sivala is one and one on the season as Sandia also falls to one and one. Well, all right, Valley Vikings hosting La Cueva Bears with the football and looking for a score. Bo Kujath has his pass picked off. Jordan Velasquez getting deep into the La Cueva territory on the return. That's going to set this up. Bo Coleman pitching to Rob Armijo. He does the rest, getting into the end zone. It's 49 to 14 Valley. Valley scores 28 points in the second half en route to a 49-14 win over the Bears, who fall to 0-2. Vikings are steam full ahead, opening the year with a 2-0 record. And well, that's your look at the Thursday Night Rewind. Van, get this though, it's Valley's first win over La Cueva in 13 years. Back to you. Wow, more than a decade. Well, thanks, Lawrence. Bernalillo and Rawls will have this in common. Both teams coming to the week looking for their first victory. Who would it be? Wow. How about this? Who wants it bad? Joseph Lovato. He wants it bad. Jumping over people. 
and taking it to the 20 where he stopped for a gain of 35 on the play. Then Lovato again dropping back, tossing along with downfield, caught by Jarrett Perez. Then Santiago Dominguez settling the score, taking it all in for the end zone and a 14 to nothing Roswell advantage. Then Roswell's Lovato juking left, juking right until he makes it another Roswell touchdown. Look at him. Obviously, they want to get their first victory. How about more Lovato? This time, deferring to the pass, finding Dominguez in the right corner. He scores the fifth Roswell touchdown of the night. Roswell beating Bernalillo 40 to 7 is the final. Football Friday is deep in the fourth quarter, nearing a close, but more highlights are still on the way. Is Warriors v. Warriors. Damian Ocampo's group holds and serve against Keith Johnson and Rui Doso in Socorro. And the eight man game getting love. It's all on the other side. First, check out tomorrow's game.